Tonight, Sean Great has already been sentenced to death in the murders of two Ashland County women. Today, he pleaded guilty in the deaths of two more women in Richland County. And tonight, Great says he wants to talk to officials in a third county about a murder case there. Amani Abraham was in the courtroom as this all went down. Disturbing to say the least, Amani. Yeah, that's right, Sarah. Great was already sentenced to death last year in Ashland County, but today he got another life sentence for two more murders, and he may be connected to yet another in central Ohio. I couldn't even look at him. For Candace Cunningham's mother, staring into the eyes of the man who killed her daughter was something she couldn't do. Instead, her words were read by a victim's advocate. You are a heartless individual who deserves to die a cruel death like what you did to Candace and all the other young women. In May, Sean Grade was sentenced to death for the murders of Elizabeth Griffith and Stacy Stanley after a long trial. Today in Richland County, he changed his plea to guilty to killing Cunningham, found behind a burned out house in 2016, and Rebecca Lacey, who was found in 2015. But Lacey's father doesn't believe Great killed her. In a victim impact statement, he says Lacey struggled from a drug addiction and questioned the investigation. Still in handcuffs, Great signed his guilty plea and spoke briefly. It's going to be hard to forgive me, but just apologize for my actions. Nobody even knows his name, and I'd like to keep it that way, because there's no reason for anybody to know exactly who that man is, because he's worthless. Great's attorney also spoke about Great's interest in talking to authorities in Marion County. They also have a case of this magnitude uh, as it relates to Sean. We contacted the sheriff's office there, and they say Gray confessed to killing a woman more than 10 years ago, her body found in 2007. But Gray says he didn't know her name. Officials are still working to identify her and have since only been able to release a sketch. He had no right to take these ladies' lives that have family that love them. His sentence of life without parole is in addition to his death sentence out of Ashland County, although an appeal has been filed in that case. As for the Jane Doe in Marion County, officials say they are moving forward with familial DNA testing in hopes of identifying the woman and working on a connection back to great. Back to you, Sarah. Okay, thank you, Amani.